Behind every Hellfire missile, there's an actual human being. Someone back at base remotely pulling the trigger. But the Pentagon is preparing for the day when robots are capable of killing on their own. The machines, they're starting to take over. It conjures up images of the Terminator. Mr. Chairman, I need to make myself very clear. If we uplink now, Skynet will be in control of your military. But you'll be in control of Skynet, right? The Pentagon just issued its first directive on autonomous weapons, effectively forbidding the development of lethal weapons with no human control to minimize failures that could lead to unintended engagements. That's a sterile term for mean, meaning uh, harming innocents, killing the wrong target. The Pentagon's Dave Achmanik admits these weapons are still 20, 30 years away. That technology doesn't exist yet, so why now? The thought was uh, technology is dynamic, and we'd like to get out ahead of it. Just this week, the Navy tested its next generation drone, which could carry bombs and land on an aircraft carrier with hardly any human control. The directive only applies to lethal systems and still allows the military to develop autonomous spy planes. As we begin to approach the possibility of having machines select and engage targets, we want to be very careful not to cross that line without high-level policy review. Human Rights Watch applauds the Pentagon's move. We do not believe it solves the problem, however. So the group is calling for governments to ban autonomous weapons outright. Bonnie Doherty points to Syria and wonders what killer robots could do in a conflict like that. Because the weapons are emotionless, they could actually serve as a perfect tool for a dictator who would not have to worry about the danger of a human soldier turning on him if, fired, if ordered to fire on his own civilians. A robot would not do that. I mean, when you're talking about a weapon that doesn't have the capacity to feel any compassion for its victims, it opens up all kinds of ethical questions that the Pentagon and really militaries around the world are going to have to grapple with over the next 20 years. Chris Lawrence, CNN, the Pentagon.